I'm selling shea, machine to phone, and even the washes. Washes. Uh, but I have a very, very nice phone, but I'm selling it in a very, very cheap price. Hey, it is very beautiful. Hey, made in where? Made in Kenya. Kenya? Hey, how much is this? Two thousand only. I can't afford that one. Uh, I I'll give you one thousand. Uh, uh, okay, okay, right 15, now. Fifteen. Uh, no, no, no. I just have one thousand sling in my pocket. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mr. Mwangu, Johnson Mwangu. Now, of course, I am a graduate of Caldwell State University in the United States. Caldwell? That's my dad's name. He said Caldwell. Of course, this makes me qualified to teach you business. Now, I love business. I have a passion for business because business keeps you busy in business. And uh, I'm sure in time you'll all want to be like me. I mean, that's why you're here, isn't it? Of course. Right, enough about me. Let's hear from you. Tell us who you are, which school you attended, and why you are here. Let's start from here. Hmm? My name's Adolfila Satito Keo. I'm a graduate of Jaturua High School. In this high school is where some great leaders of this nation attended. My ancestral home is Nyogoma Kogelo. I'm sure you all know what that means. My father is a distance cousin to Obama's father, which technically makes me a cousin to Obama. Why don't you instead tell us why you're here? Hmm? Oh, I'm here to learn more how to run our family business empire. Before I join Howard University. Which trust is that one? America. America. <sighs> so, uh, Tito, yes. uh, what is this uh, family business empire? Oh, my cousin Posomi, my mother's hotel in Kisumo City, where you can get international cuisine. Uh, next. My name is Rispa Chepkoech Pune from SG Secondary School. Uh, SG? Yes, you don't know? It is the short form for Shigilia, Carl's Secondary School. Uh, you don't take part in athletic races by any chance, do you? Oh, yes. I have a passion for athletic races. In fact, most of my friends are very well known racists in Europe. Racists? I hope by that you mean athletes. Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> Next. Next. Vanangangavari Shisia Walikombe. Sorry, my name is Shisia Walikombe, aka SW. You can also call me Shisi, Sia, Wari Walikombe. I come from Lukari, Western Province, and I attended Potter Point Secondary School, and I was the Tining Old Prefect. Top layer! <laughs> I was working at Skarakara until I was retrenched, and that's why I decided to venture into business. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mr. Topler, tell us about yourself. My name is Gilistova Molonzi. In Zotbom, Kitova. I come from Mombasa Road, a place called Mbuinzao. And I attended Gigune Primary School, where I'm by a vast fellow well, and I attended Nzeleni Secondary School. So why are you here? I'm here to get and develop my business management. Oh, that's brilliant. Yes, you know that diploma will be somebody in our village. I'll qualify to be the manager of two list hotels and less land in Mutito and Day. Only that? No. 
I can also go and look for employment in places like Ngulea and Kilangundi. It means I'd serve on SNO Park. That's a very good ambition, man. I like it, I like it. Uh, let's get back to the queue. Uh, young lady behind there. Yes. The name is Wene Wangeshi Waihenya, in short, WWW. I am an alumni of Wemeridio Girls in Muiga. I am here to run business so that I can become a renowned business ready. And what line of business would you pursue? Well, I think I will open boutiques stocked with ladies' clothes and beauty makeups like crepe steak, rape gross, and nail polish. Yani, cutex. Not a bad idea. Yes. Right, uh, let's hear from the gentleman in front of you. Yeah, yeah I'm Eric. I reside in Cardiff. Eric? But uh, are you a product or something? Why do you have only one name? Um, actually a brand, but all the same, I was just about to tell you my other native name before you interrupted me. Molui Momunga is the name, but ladies, just call me Eric. And what a gentleman to call you. Anyway, uh, please tell us uh, which school you attended and why you're here. I attended Colombo High School and some three years ago I ventured into the very lucrative mining business. The main reason as to why I'm here is to sharpen my business skills. What lucrative mining business are we talking about here? <laughs> anyway, we'll get back to you. Right, let's hear from the gentleman behind there. Yes, you young man. Uh, my name is Juta Ontario Manga. I come from Ugembo Kisi and I went to school at the Rugasi High School. Uh, tell us about Kiss. Uh, sorry, Kisi. Ah, Kisi is a father in land, and there's, there's rain and the thunderstorm. Rain and the thunderstorm. <laughs> right, and uh, why do you want to learn business management? Oh, when I finish my college studies, I want to open a gen of, uh, a gen of businesses in Kisi town, Keumbu, Keroka, Nyamira, Nyansiongo, Mosocho, Mohongaturu, and also Tabaka. That's, that's uh, quite impressive, eh? What business do you want to get involved in? Marimu, that's my secret. <laughs> right. Next. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Tisha. Uh, my name is Joseph Kinadri. I was from Kiagoma High School. And my favorite, favorite subject was business. Because I'm a businessman. I sell so many, many merchandise, uh, like mobile, they very cheap. <laughs> Shane, ETC, and many others. Like now, Mr. Tisha, I have something here, and I think you might like it. It's very, very cheap. <laughs> yeah, put that away. It's here. No, no. Are you? Right, uh, what about you? Sir, I'm not a ogre at the moment. So who are you? Uh, my names are Arito Melcott Adams. I attended KBH. I mean Kangetek, boys I. Two years ago in the match with very strong grades, but I couldn't join public university because of financial constraints. And so how are you able to raise the fees for this business management course? Well, I've been a oka, a tout, a bodabod operator, a fisherman, just name it, I've been there. Very, 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 very good, very impressive. You're in the right place, huh? I'll make you into a great fisherman. <laughs> uh, sorry, a uh, businessman. Thank you very much, sir, for your good wishes. I look forward to that. Well, uh, I believe that's all, unless... Oh, sorry, the lady behind there, let's hear from her. My name's Diana Kirote Kaburu. I come from a place called Kangeta. That is on your way to Maoa, around a place called Mudara. All the way from Kangeta. What brings you to my class? 
You know, one day I will inherit our Mira farm and I want to learn how to run that business so that I can be able to sell the Miras in the supermarket. Well, that's a good, good thought. And um, in what category will your Mira fall? How about medicine? No, vegetables. <laughs> Please, sit down. Uh, please tell the class who you are. Yeah, yeah, my name is Eric. I'm pleased to meet you, ladies. If you need anything, just anything, I'm your man. Yes, that's the class messenger. <laughs> sit down. <laughs> you can introduce yourself to them later on, alright? Please. Hi, guys. I'm Joanne Akini, and um, it's a pleasure meeting you guys. It's a pleasure. Most welcome, Jabeer. <laughs> uh, which school did you attend? Mpesi Girls High School. Did you say Mavet? Toma. Your association with uh, Mr. Eric, the brand, is not good for business. Now you know what the ancestors say. Birds of the same feathers flock together. So do pigs and swine. And you're there. Stop okay. Right. That's yes. enough. Such language will not be tolerated in my class. Right. Let's hear from a new friend. How about you first? <laughs> Mr. Mong. Excuse me, teacher. How are you going to indicate? Mr. Top Layer, huh? You are now in college. No more spoon feeding. <laughs> right. Business management. Those are two words, eh? Let's start with the first one. What is a business? Can any of you tell us? Yes, can you drink? Uh, from my perspective, Mr. Tisha, and the way I really, really understand business, through the experience of my only, only business, is that business is selling and making money. For example, me being the seller, and my friend here get over being the buyer, me the seller giving get over the object, and get over being the buyer giving me the money. That is what is called business. That is selling and making money. From the buyer's point of view. Right. A business can be defined as an organization. Organization? A business can be defined as an organization that provides goods and services. Organization that provides goods and services to others who want or need them. Goods and services to others who want or need them. Any questions? Yes. Yes, sir, I have a question. Can Oakley be called a business? Yeah. Of course, yes. <laughs> Why can't it be called a business? Yes, yes. Hawking is a business. You know, uh, some businesses acquire a bad reputation just by being in business. You know, to some people, businesses are just there to make money, and that's the bottom line. Just like in your new. <laughs> well, uh, not to point fingers, but yes. It can be called capitalism in its purest form. Exhaust me, teacher. Mm hmm, get over. W what is this capitalism? Is it doing business in capital cities like in Nairobi? Good question, Mr. Top Player. 
Capitalism. Uh, right. Uh, that is something you'll answer me next week when we meet again. Uh, please do your research because I will ask any of you to answer that question, all right? You're dismissed.